Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be a Captain Hillian tonight, or today, <laughs> along with. I is a mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And yeah, <laughs> first off, uh, I'm, st I'm still trying to wake up since, well, still insomnia and such. But uh, yeah, welcome to Showcase Sunday number 99, one away from the triple digits. And uh, yeah, we'll be starting off with Mac Warrior 5 Mercenaries today. And <laughs> hello, Marco. How are you doing today? Oh dear, hello, Marco. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, for anyone new, what we do in with Showcase Sunday is we try out some games for about half an hour each. Sometimes a bit, uh, sometimes a little bit longer, sometimes shorter, depending on if it's good or not. To see, well, if it's any good for streaming now or for streaming some other day. And uh, Marco's sick apparently. Oh. Uh, hope you'll get better soon then. But yeah, for now. Let's um, start a new campaign. Uh, let's actually skip the tutorial. We'll see if, how much I remember of this on my own. In 2108, humanity began colonizing the stars. Their reach would eventually span a vast region of space known as the Inner Sphere. During its golden age, under the governance of the Star League, the Inner Sphere experienced unprecedented peace, prosperity, and technological advancement. But with a great rise comes a great fall. Beset by greed and mistrust, humanity splintered. The Star League crumpled. Technological advancement slowed. The great houses, each vying for supremacy, turned on one another engaging in a series of conflicts known as the Succession Wars. Amidst this chaos, mercenaries became the proxy forces for the Great Houses. Numerous battlefields sprung up across the Inner Sphere, dominated by hulking war machines known as Battle Max. The year is now 3015, and these steel behemoths have become the tools of the mercenaries' trade. It's a lucrative time, yet one beset with perils of all kinds. Only the most skilled and brave among them will rise to become legend. And a little crazy boy. Battle Mac, Mac War. Oh, it's based on the board game. Yep. <laughs> Took me a few years to realize. I'm at the rendezvous point, but our contact isn't here. You see anyone, son? The salvage crates at the last checkpoint were empty. Now, something's up if they're missing payments. This is Commander Mason of Major Campbell. Make a note. Looks like someone is gonna need a lesson in paying their bills on time. That's odd. What the hell? I have a visual. It's quite wide, sir. We are evacuating. We need to take what we have and go. The fastest way is across the swamp. Captain, where are you going? It's possible they left the cash at the last checkpoint in the city. Let's get the money and run, Commander. This is reckless. We need to get back to base. They're distracted with the invasion. We'll be in and out before they know we're here. Let's hope it's not us they're after. Yeah, typical day in uh, the Battle Mac world. I don't like this, son. This is a ghost town. We're close. I can smell the sea bills. There's nothing here. Relax. We'll be out of here in no time. We're being tagged! Look out! Incoming airstrike! Captain 
Captain Mason. What's your status? I'm fine, Commander. Left arm is offline is all. That was close. Return to base now. I am not leaving you behind. We were set up, and you're in no shape to fight. Meet me at the extraction point with the Leopard. Go! Now, Captain! Damn it. On the move. Commander, an enemy dropship is approaching your position. Move! Now! I've got eyes on. Identified. Hunchback and King Crab. Damn it! Rihanna, any idea what these guys want? I picked up some chatter about coordinates of some kind. That mean anything to you? Coordinates? No, Rihanna. Promise me you won't leave without Jake. Promise me. Commander, I promise. Yeah, that's the setup. <laughs> Question is, why were we set up like that? Yeah, and also, yeah, uh, hello, Glacier Boy! I don't know if I said it earlier, but I've been doing it again, just in case. <laughs> All right. Okay, 26th, 27th May, Commander, six days. I'm sorry to wake you, but our Citrep has changed. Head to the bridge as soon as possible. Okay, I thought it gives subtitles here, but not there. Okay. Commando, good to see you up. We haven't really had a chance to speak since your father was killed. I'm not much for sentimentality, but I worked with your father for a long time. He was a good man. Hell, he sacrificed his life to save ours. I don't know what's going to happen next, but whatever it is, I'd like to be part of it. I'd like to stay on as your ops commander. That is, if you'll have me. You kidding me? Your family, Rihanna, are as close as I have now. Besides, I'm going to need you. Yes, I suspect you will. About our Citrep, it's not great news. Those bastards that came after us are in the process of setting up a blockade of the system, which means we're going to be trapped here with a tightening noose around our necks unless we do something about it. Who are these guys? Another mercenary outfit, by the looks of it. I don't know more than that at the moment. And these coordinates they were looking for? Not a clue, but we're going to find out. First things first, we need transport out of the system. That means a jump ship. I sent out a transmission right after the attack through the HPG. 
The message was for a longtime client of your father's and an old friend of mine. Name is Spears. He has powerful connections. I'm hoping he can help us out. Until I hear back from him, there's nothing we can do except lay low. In the meantime, Fahad wants to see you down in the hangar. The Centurion needs repairs and he wants to discuss them with you. I'll let you know when I hear back from Spears. Copy that. Okay. And yeah, this is where we'll spend a decent amount of time in the game. Since, well, this is aboard your... <laughs> Um, Kelia, something happened with your mic. It sounds a bit different from before. Test one, two. Three, four, five. Okay, at least it wasn't was as bad new. as previous. Yeah, it was not loud, just... Uh, I, I think I came immediately, like... Uh, or... Uh, it's something like that. It, it sounded... It was not far from loud, just... Distorted. I don't know how to describe it. Like, was having problems picking up your voice. Okay. It, it happened doing that with you a few times recently, so I'm guessing that's an issue on Discord's end. Yeah, but Anyways, it might be yeah. a connection issue then, like uh, uh, if someone was downloading them. I don't think anyone is. But yeah, uh, this is our dropship. And we were spending a decent amount of time in here, mostly because, well, these things need repairs and all that. Hey mate, figured you'd want an update on the Centurion. Took a bloody beating back there, so fair warning. It's gonna be a while before she's operational again. Means you're gonna have to get comfortable with the light mech over in Bay One for now. She's a good girl. Won't let you down and treat her right. I'll do my best. Yeah, heard that before. Anyways, you know the drill. Access the repair terminal here. Once you're done, I'll get started on the work, okay? Okay. Yeah, so there's two ways to repair all damaged armor, structure, weapons, and equipment on a mech. The first is with the repair mech button on the battle mech screen. The second way is to click loadout. On the second uh, next screen, you can click on the repair all button and then start work. Both methods will ask you to confirm by starting the work order. The C bills will be immediately deducted from your funds and work will finish when the appropriate amount of time has elapsed. Because these things require quite a lot of work to well, work with. Note that this method will repair any damaged weapons or equipment, but it will not remove or replace them if they are destroyed. That is also a thing. The, a part of this game is resource management, as in, well, the equipment that you have can get destroyed, so it is a good idea to keep spares. And yeah, that's a lot of work. Work orders cost 20% more and will take 30% longer in this system. No repair hub found within 10 jumps. So, yeah, that is going to take almost two months to repair this thing. Yeah, things do not happen quickly in the Battle Mac universe. Okay. And yeah, bigger mechs will, of course, have bigger equipment and starts and can take even longer to repair. Yes, there is multiple classes of them. But for now, we only have the Centurion here. And let's see, G Javelin. Let me see. Oh, that, that, yeah, that's it, a light mech, and they were not kidding. Yeah, a Javelin, which can have up to 30 tons of equipment and armor on it. And yeah, the Centurion can have up to 50, which is, well, in the upper right. Those colored bits in the bottom half, that is the amount of weapon you know, slots that can be put on or the types of weapons that can be put on the mech so let's see no ballistics four uh, lasers zero missile stuff zero whatever those are two melee slots and the last one is the amount of points on the mech itself that are filled or not i believe it's been a bit since i played this game and i'm far from an expert if you want an expert you, you'll have to go find beanie on dead hey commander I've received a transmission from Spears in response to my request for help. 
Take a listen. Rihanna, I received your message. I'm sorry to hear about Nikolai. He was a good man and an even better pilot. He'll be sorely missed. I assume his son will be taking over the operation. Nikolai was always bragging about the boy's skills. Well, I hope he was right. I've begun working on a plan to get you safe passage out of the system, but it's going to take a little time. I expect you already know by now that whoever attacked you has set up a blockade to prevent your escape. It's a large system, though, so we can use that to our advantage. As soon as you receive this, I want you to proceed to the outermost planet in the system. It's a little more than a hunk of ice with a few leftover mining operations on it. There's an abandoned power station there. Now, I've got it on good authority that local raiders are using it as a secret cache for their ill-gotten goods. I know you can use supplies and materials for your repairs, and I expect you'll find what you need at that location. I've attached the exact coordinates to this message. Once I have a proper plan in place, I'll contact you again. For now, be safe. All right. Time to suit up, Commander. I've already input the coordinates. All I need is for you to sign off and get us there. Understood. Okay. So, here is where we'll also be quite a while. We can have a, well, a news network ticker over here. Let's see, Mary Rebellion leadership surrenders. Okay. Here's the timeline that we have to, well, payments due, repairs, and other Okay, no clue what that was. <laughs> uh, let's see. Transmissions. Yeah, Rihanna, uh, Rina, smash and grab. Okay, Commander, I'm going to drop us down well away from the target location, then let you do your thing. The target is an abandoned power plant. We know the raiders have been using the area as a secret cache for whatever goods they've managed to pilfer from the various mining outfits. So with a little luck, we'll be able to recover enough material to finish uh, the repairs on the Leopard and Centurion. These raiders may be a band of thieves, but don't underestimate them. They'll be motivated to protect their loot, and you can bet they'll be well armed. Stay on point and watch your six, Commander. Good luck. And we go that we'll get fifty thousand sea bills from that. Though it seems like a lot, but it isn't actually too much, since well, each sea bill is good for one millisecond of uh, data transfer, if I remember correctly, in the uh, in through the. Uh, <coughs> Interstellar network. Okay. Oh dear. So, uh, let's see. How do we? We have our battle max over here. We only have that one available. We don't have access to these at the moment since we're all stuck in this system here. Uh, now, how do we actually move again? We press smash and grab to start the mission, or? Yeah, uh, that's just a the tracker. Um, okay, complete smash and grab. Maybe you should have checked out the... Maybe you should have checked out the uh, tutorial a bit more. But oh well. Uh, timeline. Okay. Hmm. Uh, up here. Before you accept an admission, you are given the opportunity to negotiate the contract. You begin every contact with a base number of negotiation points based on the reputation of your mercenary company. The base payout is a fixed amount the contract will pay regardless of if you, of if you, of if you succeed. The sea bill payout, uh, which can be negotiated, is an additional amount paid if you succeed the contract's objectives. The sum of the base payout and the sea bill payout is added together in the total potential payout. Salvage shares are used after finishing a contract to claim mech, weapon, and equipment salvage from the battlefield. The more valuable the salvage, the more shares it will cost. That is one good way of getting equipment. Damage coverage is insurance that only pays out to cover the repair cost of damage suffered during this particular contract. So that is also a good. Uh, that is also very useful. Okay. We have our employer, Instant Stellar Expeditions, and our target, who are bandits, both of whom are indifferent to us at the moment. That can, of course, change. Okay. Confirm. Let's see, we have one negotiation point. Let's put that on... Actually, let's see. With that... Okay, that would double our pay on this. 
though that covers a lot more. So it is a good idea to keep an eye out how much each of those change. But for the moment, let's start with damage coverage, because, well, whatever damage we suffer gets would get subtracted from our payout. So having a higher having higher insurance than the higher extra payouts is a good idea. So here we go. Uh, I did see you can have more than one deployed at a time. Okay. I it's been the resistance, yes. I expected it to be a bit more. Uh, what the? Do you write a lot? One, two. Just one, two. Okay, weird. Yeah, I just got a ping from Vegeball if I could hear a static sound. I, I could not hear a static sound. I just noticed you were not. I could not hear you when you moved your mouth. Okay, odds. Maybe this. Hmm. Mm. Might be that this game is not streamable. Uh, it, it does seem to be most of the time that uh, games with more that require more from the graphics card and such. Chunk of ice blocking the path down to the generator. Use your jump jets to get over it. They do tend to chaos issues with the magic more often. Yeah. So we all slowly and carefully. The turret should be disabled now. Yeah, so it's easy. We find we are. We have not got rid of that problem. We find more and more understand what is causing it more and more. Yeah. And yeah, we have our mini map in the middle. We have our weapons and weapon groups in the right. 
And yeah, weapon heat is caused by, well, using our weapons, lasers more so, since they don't require ammo and such. And env the environment that you're in heavily affects that as well. And because we're on an ice planet, okay. it's a lot There's easier to use them all. There's a number of storage buildings in and around the plant itself. I suspect that's where they're storing their loot. Time to smash and grab, Commander. Once you locate a storage crate, mark it for pickup, then move on to the next building. From my initial scans of the site, I've marked where I think the crates could be located. Look there first. Roger that. Good work. Marked for pickup. We, we can find yeah, crates like that all over the place you know, during missions. It appears the derelict plant has a network of backup generators running. Destroy them if you can. We'll want to find those when possible, since they will give extra payouts, though I believe in the base game itself they are rather uh, low with what they give. Or, So, yeah, that's the timer for this. So let's let's keep going a little bit more to finish up this mission. And yeah, since we're walking around in well something quite a lot bigger than these little tanks, you can walk over enemies to destroy them, but that will typically damage your legs. Okay, so there is a risk of uh, being a bad idea to walk over your enemies. Yeah, as fun as it is. It does kind of make sense, but there is... What is... Yeah, as I said, fun as it is, you're all actually doing risks when you're, like, stepping on a tank with a walker. Yeah. Since, well, they have... <laughs> they have ammunition aboard and such. Yeah, and you could... then stomping on something, make your entire machine trick... or worse, destroy your entire leg. And yeah, there's multiple ways to get rid of a mech. One of those is to destroy the legs, so it becomes immobile. The other is to uh, destroy the weapons, so that, well, a, tar a mech is completely harmless for the most part. And the other two ways are to just destroy the core of the mech or the head. The head, of course, is going to be the hardest to hit, but it is also where the pilot is. So, yeah, <laughs> get rid of the head, get rid of the pilot, get rid of the issue. Yeah, which could also mean more salvage. Potentially, yeah, since, well, you'll leave more of the mech al alone. So it is a good re it is a good tactic to go after well each of those kinds of things. Yeah. So, are, are you able to salvage enemy mix? Yep. If they oh, are uh, le if they are left co uh, with their core intact, so basically disabled through their legs, uh, weapons or head. Okay. I was just thinking realistically here. I did not know it was a fun actual thing. <laughs> So, okay, come on, I actually figured out a, something very logical out of realism. Yeah, and well, as you might have figured out, our weapons, our upper half of the mech turns separately from the legs. So we can just charge one down one way and keep shooting at things in our firing range. The bigger the mech is, the smaller this arc is. But yeah, this is a good game, a very good mech yeah, warrior game, but it is a bit, it can get repetitive and slow, because a lot of times you will have to, well, wait around for things to happen, and do smaller tasks in the meanwhile. Yeah, and, and said also we put against it, it always seemed to do something with the mic. 
not, not now, not now, just earlier, I meant. Yeah. And here we have our salvage. We can have we have three points of salvage by default. You can see the value in these. And these little ticks on them, those are their level. So this is a level one uh, flamer. And all of these are standard lasers and uh, an SRM. That means short range missile. And the, the two means that it will fire two. So yeah, we'll take that. And we took only 30,000 in damage, which is more than enough for the insurance to cover. Okay, nice work, Commander. We were able to retrieve yeah, to recover the materials we needed from that raider cache, and Fahad has already started the repairs to the Leopard and Centurion. You've made a very happy man at the top. And while you were taking on the raider, Spears contacted me. He has a plan in place for us you know, to get out of our current predicament. Head up to the bridge where you get a chance, you know, and I'll fill you in. Okay, we got an extra 50k from that. But yeah, again, it's a nice game, but it's. It's not the best for our type of streaming. Like, I I believe I streamed it a few times with Beanie Undead. Uh, but he has uh, moved away from multiplayer streams for a good part. Mostly doing single player now. But if he ever goes back to it, I'd be willing to join him as well with that. So it, can be, it is a lot more fun playing with uh, actual people instead of just bots from the, the game itself. Yeah, I can see that there being a thing. Okay, moving on to our second game. There we go. This one should be a little less hard on the GPU and such. I still find it odd oh, that dear. some of these give so much trouble since it's a, a 3070. Also, for once, Drakir doesn't have knowledge of what the games are beforehand, I believe. <laughs> Only of Mech Warrior. You did mention some. Yep. Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. Oh dear, I will. Uh... Oh, right, I don't have green tea. Let's see. There, Lord of the Hunt, played Jorvan to take down an army of Beastmaster Warchiefs that evaded Nurn, the Bright Lord. Okay. Trials of War, and open ended, and change skins. Let's just go with story modes. Yeah, I don't think this game needs too much introduction since, well. <laughs> In the land of Mordor, where the shadows lie. It was here, on the slopes of Mount Doom, that the Dark Lord Sauron was defeated by the last alliance of men and elves. It is here that for two and a half thousand years the villagers of Gondor stood watch, guarding against a nameless threat they had all forgotten. And while the strength of Gondor faded, the power of of Sauron in darkness. He has returned to Mordor. Shadow and flame have fallen on the gate. And no mortal man can stand in its path. Is a perfect swing for killing chicken. Wouldn't want to hurt you. It'll take a lot more than that. <laughs> Dear Hyle, the mighty chicken killer. Come on. Come on. Show your father what you have, huh? 
Oh dear. Give me a second. I can hear you at least. You just lost audio then. Oh dear. Well, well, everyone can hear me at least. Best one too. I know of this game. You'll have to hit harder if you want to best your father. Hard enough. And I know. It's both Very light so and dislike. You should not forget to hit. And I think what I know mostly like. Yeah, but they took you to do feet like minute you do like and your the idea and gameplay. You're not a soldier yet. They do criticize that they all have your gun. with the lore. Yeah, that attack was obvious. On that, that is why they put it under the name uh, Middle Earth, not Lord of the Rings. We have, well, have its own take on it. That doesn't solve the issue. Happy anniversary, my love. Alien, this is beautiful. Where did you find it? I still have a few friends left in Gondor. Did you talk to my father? Yes, I did. And nothing has changed. He's still very stubborn. I say we go anyway. Dear, I will not come willingly. There must be a better life than this. Not now. But soon. I'm just so tired of hiding here, Italian. <laughs> Must hide now, or we are both dead. Come on. We should have left when we had the chance. Don't move. I'll clear 
clear a path. I'm outnumbered. Right. Stealth is my oh. only advantage. I should probably explain. What people did not like about both these games is they started to feel a bit hard cannon things. Like, things that should have left alone. So it's not just with the movies, just... It's with the books and world in general. Put the sword down, Ranger. The Black Cat wants him alive! Take her! What the? See for yourself. Now, do you believe me, Ranger? What has happened to me? You are banished from death. Cast adrift between the worlds of light and dark. Curse binds us together within the walls of Arda. If what you say is true, then how do we break this curse? We find the one who cast it on us. The Black Hand of Sauron. belongs to Gondor. Father, if you turn my love into... Okay. And it seems that I forgot to start the timer. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Okay. Unlocking Forge Towers unlocks the Braid's memories and fast travel. This unlocks new missions, collectible locations on the map, and Miriam, which is, El I believe, elven currency. Yeah, again, people like it, but they had criticized with the, they used it too much so, liberty with the lore. With Narcos, eh? oh. An easy mistake to fix. Especially with the pawn can and stuff, these people did not like. 
is I think got worse with the second game. You will suffer for what you've done! Did you just... Go back to him. And here we have something new. These are the captain of, uh, captains of Sauron's army. They appear as shadows because you don't net you net not <clears throat> you don't yet know their identity. By interrogating enemies, you can uncover valuable information about these captains. And there we go. Gimuk the Slaver. You have learned Gimuk's identity. This will help you hunt him down. His title, the Slaver, gives you clues about his role in Uruk society. You have also learned his power rating. This gives you an indication of how difficult he will be to defeat. The power rating also determines your rewards for defeating him. Rewards include runes to upgrade your weapons and increasing your power your, and increasing your own power to unlock new ability tiers. Map of objectives show you where this captain can be located. And yeah, we can mark them to go track them down. If one can trust an orc. Trust has nothing to do with it. His thoughts cannot lie. And yeah, we can invade <laughs> the minds of orcs to basically draw information right out of them. Okay. Gold Icon's advanced story. Red and, uh, our power struggles with between orcs because they will <laughs> they will fight each other just as much as they will fight you. And white icons for side missions and collectibles. Okay, two available main missions. The Slaver and the Spirit of Mordor. Learn more about Uruk society and take down someone's army from within. Let's go after the Slaver first. Okay. The world has changed. Nothing makes sense. Nothing has changed. This is how it will be. The future and the past are linked in darkness. I don't understand why I'm here. And I can't remember. Let's go find the slaver. His mind may provide answers. Yeah, I can see why Tolkien fans will have some issues with this game, but overall it is beloved more than uh, disliked, I believe. Yeah, basically it's liked, but it does have some fair criticism. I feel like if they did some alteration to, to make it blend with the world a bit better, it could have got them even more praise. But that might be due to the developers underestimated the fandom a little bit, but also maybe not reading up. Mm. Well, this doesn't bode well. Don't you see? The prisoner created a distraction. Why use your human side to track the Uruk? I see more than any mortal. Get the shrock out of the slaves. I didn't much like it either. What do you think? There he is. The orc captain. Cut off the head of the snake, and the body will wither. Archers, 
I must take out the eyes of the camp. And yeah, many of these missions will have side mission objectives. Making you for his life. If one more runs, we'll be out of poles. Wait. I'll smell something. There. Okay, one ability point gains. Well, you can guess what those are for. Upgrading and getting new skills. next to another walk okay awareness also pretty typical these days and the shade that shows where we lost were seen oh dear okay. it's coming up which is good for us and um, um, if there's other audio problems do let us know right away yeah Man swine! Pity I have to kill you. You would make a strong slave. Up <laughs> too late. Uh, gotta deal with him. And there we go. These first ones are going to be easy. And, well, if you kill their captain, typically the rest will flee. So, let's pick up this. Let's get captains. Drop runes that provide bonuses to your weapons. Press enter and view your weapons. Uh, that's, yeah, you can slot runes into weapons. With one, two, spacebar to review. Let's see. Uh, you can upgrade your weapons with additional rune slots by spending Miriam. Okay. We have... Let's see. Yeah, I believe some of... some, Most of these are just from a DLC or something, or that got included with the purchase, I believe. Uh, let's see. Immune to po <laughs> poison. Recover... Uh, this one. Recover all focus and all health for killing a captain or war chief. Which would be really good if, if you're facing against multiple uh, of them at once, since then <laughs> a lot of the people, a lot of the orcs won't flee. Uh, yeah. Yay! Killing a captain using his vulnerability will guarantee the type of rune he drops. So stealth will give us a dagger's rune, ranged will give us a bow rune, and combat will give us a sword rune, if they are weak to it. Okay. Ten years ago. I take it you did not come here to arrest me for treason, Captain. You and I are all that remains of that garrison, Hugo. Then why did you come here? Looking for a slave that fought the Black Hand of Sauron. <laughs> More like ran away from him. You know this man. Of course. You're staring at him. Where are the servants of the Dark Lord? Do you even know? Perhaps. This is no time to keep secrets. I have been stuck here for weeks. Steady. Come to the outcast camp. We shall ask my scouts. I'll be there. Hello. Oh, sister of the rock. No, someone wants to be seen. We should tread with caution. I think he's also part of the criticism. 
Okay. Uh, photo mode, no need for that. But uh, yeah, a much better version of Gollum than the last Gollum game, huh? Uh, I only heard it's bad, but I haven't seen nothing about it. Yeah, consider of... yourselves lucky then. Yeah, I feel like... Because you know how the Golden Game had been sounding and some funk music, I just feel like... I'm gonna avoid that like a plague. Yeah, just the... The graphics of it all are like something out of a PlayStation 2 game. But yeah, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. I yeah, I will acknowledge some of the criticism, but I'll just have to always say this. It's way too much fun to uh, get bothered by that much, I'd say. Oh, yeah. I, I, I will <clears> see <throat> both sides of the course in this one. Okay. I hope, uh, next time the developers make a lot of the ring games, they listen to what they did right and what they did wrong and improve from there. Okay, and apparently this what? game doesn't want, didn't want to stay in the shape that I put it. So this is unlikely for us to be streamed, I'll fully say. This is Mindustry, and well, the name is Mine Industry. This is a, oh. this is a tower defense-like game. Okay. We have two plans that can start on. pointed them a name out. Let's see, uh, campaign, okay, hmm, uh, suppose, you're supposed to be able to choose from two planets, and apparently it, it doesn't let us on, it doesn't let me unset that, so yeah, uh, basically, we'll see in a second here, I'll start the timer. Okay, we have our little drone here that we control. With it, we can, well, mine stuff ourselves, but for the most part, you'll want to automate all of that. So we just oh need to dear. grab a decent amount. Okay, open the tech tree. Oh, oh, that's... Okay, they keep doing that as long as they're in range. Uh, let's see, tech tree over here. Then, yeah, beryllium, sand... Water, and then we have a few other things that we can research. Let's see, duct, plasma bore. Okay, when facing, you know, when placed facing a ore wall, outputs items indefinitely. Okay. Research then plays a turbo condenser. So, turbo condenser, that there. Generates power when placed on vents. It has been a while since I played this game, so it's it does seem that it has changed quite a bit. Um, I think I heard this game, but when I saw the photo of something like, like, like mind control or something. No. <laughs> Can you blame me? Look at the name yourself. Yeah. Now you could see <laughs> mind industry in it. Yeah. Okay. It, yeah, this is the first thing I ever saw. Mind industry. Had had they added a e as an actual properly spelled mine. This three, I would probably understood right away what this game was about. Let's see, research and place a beam node. Uh, there, okay. This is quite different from when last I played it. I think. There. Or this might be because I took you know, the other path. Okay, research and place ducks to move the mind you know, resources from the plasma board to the core. Okay. I'm not sure if it had this much of a tutorial last time that I played. So it it does seem like it was upgraded, like it was uh, updated at some point. Okay, expand the mining operation, place more plasma bores, use beam nodes to, and ducks to power them, and just mine 200 through that. Okay, uh, plasma bore there. That way. Actually, probably better if I put them closer. Uh, can I undo that? Can I actually? Can I place these underneath here? Yes, I can. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, uh, maybe my memory is off, but this is looking a lot better than uh, last I played it. 
Uh, how long ago was it? No clue. Well, then it also is probably there have been a few patches. Yeah. Okay. There. I uh, need to power them still. So there. There. And there. Like this power system, I'm pretty sure wasn't here last I tried this game. Okay, now we just need to wait for that. Um, yeah, it isn't just going... To, actually, maybe I just accidentally skipped the whole tutorial last time or something. But I definitely do not remember these beam nodes. Hmm. Uh, more complex blocks require graphite, set up plasma boards. Okay. There. Can rotate with the <clears throat> with the mouse wheel. There. Then we grab some of these. Okay. They do have a maximum range with the this. Okay. New content unlocked. Probably okay. from and now having the <clears throat> minerals to research oh. them. <laughs> the sound. <laughs> okay. Move into core, more graphite. Okay, let's put down one here. Just short. Okay, it starts with something pre-selected. That's what I missed. Okay, begin researching factories. The cliff crusher and silicon arc furnace. Okay. Uh, cliff crusher. Crushes walls, outputting sand indefinitely requires power. Okay. And refine silicon from sand and graphite. Okay. So we put... Let's see. Okay, it needs to be placed directly against it. Okay. And no, not that. Uh... Can I put that... Okay, bit of a mistake there. Uh, how do I destroy stuff? Let's see, schematics are stuff that are things you guess you can make yourself for easy building, for like uh, processing something. Uh, okay, there we go. We just right-click it away. Okay. And... Okay, that's the one for processing. Silicon arc. Okay, do we need to have that... Do we need to move it into it, or do we just need to have it in our storage to be able to use it? Of course, we need to power it. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it does need to be moved into it, it seems. Okay. But yeah, I think you get the idea with this... Build a build a factory, expand it, and I yeah survive the waves of enemies that will eventually come for you and such. All right, it's it's a nice little game, but there isn't really any story to it. Yeah, I can see it not be too fun to stream. Okay. I could see it work as a YouTube vi video if you just want to watch something and be sort of half turned off in the head or something. Yeah. Or unless you really like these kind of games, of course, then you probably have full attention. Okay. Next game. Though this one will probably also be really short. I will say that because, well, it, it's also kind of in the name. Or. Actually, now that I think about it, Mindustry could also stand for Mini Industry. 
Yeah, this is Mini Thief. Okay, it does have a story mode. Let's start with the training. And yeah, you do have local co-op with this. Okay, WASD. To pass a level, you must steal and escape with an item from the safe. Uh, yeah, I, I tried this game before, but yeah, just uh, let's see. Search, searchable items have a magnifying glass uh, symbol above them. Search them to find goods. Okay, we interact with space by facing towards them. Okay. We can pick locks by holding the space bar down. Let's see, noise. Watch your step. Certain objects like this trash can can be knocked over, which creates one loud noise. Like that. Okay, tripwire. Watch your step. Tripwires will alert owners and guards to your position. We can cut those with the cable cutter, but we don't start off with that, I think. Hide. Use plants and wardrobes to hide from guards and owners. Like that. <laughs> we get up, but just moving. Cameras. These are motion detection cameras. Stay out of their sight. They will alert others to your position. Okay, just stay out of their sight completely. Shop. Visit the shop to stock up on supplies and tools to help you. And escape. To complete a level, you must escape through the open window. An escape symbol is indicated above it when available. So basically, this is sort of like a 2D version of Thief Simulator. Remember to close the door behind you. Owners or guards will check the room if they see the door has been left open. Lights. Guards and owners will have a hard time seeing you in the dark. Cut the power to the lights with cable cutters. Uh, yeah, we already saw that. Search. Empty rooms make great hiding spots. Okay. Uh, how do we exit from this, or do we just need to... Yep. Oh, hello. Okay, this is the shop. Night vision goggles, firecrackers, decoy. <laughs> of course, a cardboard box. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah. It's forfeit on that. Yeah, I'm not feeling direction. this game at all. Yeah. It Let's has at least so do one little level here. It has some shown, but not enough. <sighs> nothing, nothing, and nothing. There's nothing good on tonight. Oh well, better get to work. Rent's due in a few days, and I haven't stolen anything. Oh well, better get to work. Yeah, I believe this is one of those games where you just need it, which is mostly just meant for. Uh, it is mostly meant for a bit of time wasting, as I immediately alert everything in the entire neighborhood. Uh here. Wait, that's a magnifying glass. It looks more like a lollipop of sorts. I was say balloon. Or a lollipop? <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like a blue candy on a stick. Okay, not sure what that was supposed to mean. Oh dear gods. What is this? It's just a silly little dumb game. Uh, there, F with the flashlights. Okay, doesn't look like there's anyone home here. It's... Okay, some cash and an item. There. Yeah, I get it. A bedroom here. Wardrobe. Hide in. Okay. And there's the safe. Okay. A phone of some sorts. And let's just get out now before we actually... <laughs> before we wake up the entire other half of the neighborhoods. Okay. 
I don't like that sound. Okay, and yeah, the house on 3rd Street has been burgled. After the owner's many attempts to upgrade the security systems, the place was gutted for all its valuables. Damn, what a pro. Wish that was me. Oh, sweet comics. Yep. But yeah, this will, of course, grow more difficult as you go deeper. I never really got too far. <laughs> and well, it does have a bit of charm, but it's not really a great game. It was also really cheap, I believe. So that does, that is a point towards it in people liking it. But yeah, not our thing. Yeah, and the sounds would actually drive me insane. So let's move on to game number five. And also, I'm aware I'm wearing the wrong helmet at the moment, but uh, yep. I'm ruining it with this time. <laughs> I completely forgot that, sorry. Uh, no worries, Ooh. I figured you were tired, I felt like, I will let it slide this time. Since so you were so newly awake. It's not the end of the world. Uh, yeah, the fifth game we have today is Monster Hunter World. Oh, this game has a story? Yep. Though, I have played most of the games, and it's... The first one I played was World, I think? I liked it, but I have one thing I don't like about it. That is? This has caused me some problems. You can't pause. Yeah. Sisters and brothers of the Fifth Fleet, it's time. I'll keep my farewell brief. Never was much with words. Once you board this ship, there's no turning back. The next ground your feet will touch will be that of the new world. If any of you have lost your nerve, then step away now and let no one judge you. Very well. Then sail safe and strong. And may the Sapphire Star light your way. Yeah, this game was my entry point into the Monster Hunter World uh, games. And I, must just, I must say I prefer uh, Rise because it's a lot... Uh, not really a lot easier, but it's easier not to get yourself killed. Oh yeah, this is the one I have, my first Monster Hunter game. Bloody heck, I recall my father was to call... Uh, and from right at my birthday, and I was being in a boss fight, I could not boss, so I had to call him back. E Yo, did you hear? We're almost there. You ready to grab this new world by the horns? I don't know about you, but it feels like ages since I left home to join the commission. So, nervous? Believe you me, I get it. Anything could happen to us, but hey, that's yep. happening. Uh. Hey, aren't you one of the A-list hunters? What? No way! So are we! Hey, tell us your name! Limp sync, yeah, lip sync is a bit off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the, the, the interactions felt a bit off as well. Okay. But I, mean, I repeat, I like this game, just... The po not able to pause is annoying, but I do know it's supposed to be a multiplayer game. True. Which Let's go with this probably one. Probably why I probably like most of the story more, says I can't pause that. It's well, let's actually just go <laughs> clothing. Uh, let's okay. see. Okay, yeah, actually, yeah, for people who are not play Monster Hunter, like this one at least, Monster Hunter story is like it's basically traditional year of Brigade, almost. But Monster Hunter series in general, those other games were if you plan to do something. Make sure you're not having anything planned during the rest of the day. 
Yeah, it, or... it is not a short game, or not a short run game. Yeah, and each hmm. mission... Is... Like, if, if you think of, oh, I can take 30 minutes to do a quest before meeting. No. Wait, wait, go to the meeting first before you play the game. I, I'm guessing this is here because I've completed the story once already. Because awesome. I'm pretty sure that it wasn't there before. Oh gosh, I just realized. Uh, another thing I should recommend. Before you start in the start the game, people, go to the bathroom for love of God. First, go to the the bathroom. Yeah. And here we can make ourselves a little side character called a Palico. I know exactly which you name the little Palico. <laughs> what, Inky? At least have two names. Inky or Oscar. Let's see. Let's go with you. Yeah, let's see. We can stick with leather armor for them. You can make armor for yourself and your palico. Uh, yeah. Oscar. Yes. And there I we go. Remembers of it. I think I named my palico after you. So, how about a toast? <laughs> <laughs> And the commission! Looks so out of place in heavy armor instead of, well, the lesser armors that the others are wearing, or no armor at all. So, tell me, what's your theory? The Elder Dragons must migrate to the New World for some reason. After running the research commission for 40 odd years, the guild's itching for an answer. They say the fifth fleet's got the best shot at crack in this case, and I agree. Keep it down. Hey, speaking of, A-listers usually operate in teams of two. Have you sat down with your partner yet? Nope, oh, land hole. Listen to that. <sighs> rough out there the waves are picking up that's gotta mean landfall you're on the a-list right huh. meow de do i'm not psychic but i do have pretty good ears ah put her there i happen to be an a-lister myself oh, whoa! <laughs> That's one way to get a piggyback ride. <laughs> oh, so much for the cat. As it is one of my other criticism for uh, it, this is more of a love hate relation uh, part of the game is the damn food. I was about to say you were going to see the hand to say the handler because a lot of people find her annoying as all hell. I don't mind her actually, I haven't finished the game, but I haven't, I haven't found her too annoying. I found her sort of interesting. The only thing I feel like they may, may be maybe different actress, voice actress perhaps. Hey, it's you. Look what happened to the ship. Uh, we have to do something. Oh yeah, I think you recognize the voice actor. I think I think the voice actress is, is, is this way. 
she has done good roles. But I think she's also been the voice actor of many characters people dislike as well. I could be wrong though. That Go can happen to any boy. voice actor. Don't lazy boy! Language Hillian! Wait, do you swear it won't be realizing? I'm not even sure what he's what he's alluding to. Yeah, uh, okay, Glacier Ball, what, what, what did Hillian say? <laughs> and yeah, this is one big thing that we're on top of, huh? Yeah. But th th this is quite an entry to the game as a tutorial level. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, bloody heck. I, I remember starting this first time, I just felt, are you bloody kidding me? This is a little bit of hardcore. Uh, I was getting worried that this should be almost Dark Soul levels. Hey. Not, really not that annoyingly hard, but... Yep, for yeah, now. this stuff definitely can give people the wrong impression. Ow. <laughs> and believe it or not, we, we will be back here. Just not realize we did it. She is on. Almost okay. Okay, I do. Sometimes that one doesn't disappear here. Let's see from Glacier Boy. When you when he not said land a hoe, so scandalous <laughs> language. Oh, I'd not thought it like that. And yeah, the thing we were on... That's one of those Elder Dragons they mentioned earlier. Harold. <laughs> yeah, we'll be hunting that. It's like a Godzilla and a lava turtle and a child. The new world. You do know there are lava turtles in the Godzilla universe, right? <laughs> they live on Kong's no, Island. <laughs> I guess we can call the entire Monster Hunter series a sequel to Godzilla then. Don't give them ideas. And our ride has it. But yeah. <laughs> Decided to drop us off. If there's something I do like most of the games is the monsters. As it is... They really literally mix prehistoric life with dragons. Some even call it prehistoric fantasy almost. Helium, your mic. It has a map in it. Well, part of one at least. Looks like we're right around here. The research commission's base of operations is here. This is where our ship was supposed to dock. For now, I think it would be best if we make our way to base. The map should help us find our way. That's one, two. Three, four, five. Okay. okay. At least it's a uh, lesser uh, issue than typical. Yeah, normally it's slight pain for the ears, or other times almost like a, just a sound of a TV Freak. from old times. <laughs> and but I think we know where to go. Just. Head towards the big ass ship on the mountain. Yeah. And yeah, I think people see here what I meant with uh, mixing dragons with dinosaurs. So yeah. Yeah, look at this, these things. 
Okay, we don't have any weapons, so they get to go free for now. And yes, throughout these areas, we will find things that may be useful to us for ammunition, for parts, or well, for just healing ourselves. Let's see, that way is blocked. There's no way through here either, so... Yep. Well, the environment is lovely. Yeah, that, that is one point I will definitely give this game. It's just that, well, when I played it, at least with the first weapon I chose, I was <laughs> not good. I had the scout flies memorize my scent earlier. If you lose sight of me, just follow the scout flies, and they'll lead you right to me. Yeah, scout flies, have... that's those it... thing that the, the glowy thing on our hip. Yeah, I was able to handle it quite surprisingly well, but still... We can push our way through these vines. Not being able to pause when I need to was the most infuriating part for me. And yeah, we've already walked into something's territory. Snake kitties. Snake kitties. What I want to say there? Okay. Easy there. Don't pick a fight if you don't have a weapon. You need to hide. Come on, this way. Hurry! Is it really going to be that easy? Quietly. It shouldn't be that easy. Like, they should have good smell. Or let us eat. Loaded them a lot of fragrant smells in there. going while we still can okay i completely forgot that that was even an option hmm. yeah you don't use it much as far as i know all right nothing can stop us okay we can just Go down as, just as easily as up. <laughs> All right. So, is the hmm. volume rather low? Let's see. What is Isn't this? Not that bad. Hmm. Look. Okay, odds. There's more over there. Let's check it out. Okay, this is one of the games I... Actually, yeah, I would not recommend streaming this. Yeah, again, it's a good game, and I wouldn't be against streaming it every now and then. Uh, my, my issue would be the risk of overtime being massive. Yeah. Uh, I just don't mean it's a high chance of getting overtime, I just mean... But the old that happens, it's highly likely they will be massive. Yeah. Good. Don't mind me. This way, hurry. Okay, let's go. And yeah, that's one of that's our first big beast. So uh <laughs> Oh bloody heck. There was it. I heard some people that played this game more than me had a nickname for that damn thing. What then? Uh, uh, here comes another. Uh, Let's. So call it Reggie. Of the singer. <laughs> okay. Due to the fault, it's. He's looking like a Jamaican hairstyle, apparently. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna call it Great Yagras. Hello, Starnak, and welcome. <laughs> Thank you, the raid, and welcome to the show. Uh, we're doing a showcase Sunday where we're trying out some games for about half an hour each to see if they're good for any streaming later. 
Hello and, and welcome. <laughs> well, yeah, welcome. I hope you all enjoyed the show. Look at this. Uh, you don't get scared by the monsters, but the raid scared me. <laughs> yeah, hello, pizza lover. Did you suggest? It's like nature meant for us to build a stair right here. Oh, uh, that will explain a lot. You give a shout out. The rest of the fifth are already uh, okay, that's still a bit broken, it seems. Uh, <laughs> hope the link at least works somewhat. Uh, let's see. Pizza, yes, it is I who did the suggesting. <laughs> Welcome aboard, everyone. And okay. it's, yeah, we're doing pretty well. <laughs> I was hardly awake at the start, but <laughs> I'm plenty awake now. <laughs> You're alive. Had it rough, huh? When we couldn't find you two, we were starting to sweat bullets. You scared us. We were talking about going out to look for you. <laughs> All's well that ends well. <sighs> hey, we need a hand. Sorry. And yeah. Uh, Catch you later. <laughs> Uh, I'm Hillian, and over there is my co-host Drakir, who has the current, <laughs> currently the wrong avatar on. And uh, I tend to stream a variety of games, mostly for the story, though uh, occasionally a multiplayer thing as well with some friends. <clears throat> and yeah, this is Monster Hunter World that we're currently giving a showcase. It still has five minutes before the next game. This place is the beating heart of the commission. Wait here a second. Yeah, let's see. Oh no, it seems Stone Stonek plays this game a lot. Okay. Uh, Stone uh, Mac. I mean, not Nick. Uh, pizza. This star guys is basically a monster hunter veteran and the master. Okay. Enjoy world. It's such a great game. It's it's the first monster hunter world that I ever played. And yeah. I, <laughs> Let, let me just say that originally I did not get very far into this game. I actually Same. mainly decently far. I got up to the uh, the balloon bats, I'll say. Uh, oh, to the, that until I uh, than you. Uh, but yeah, then I couldn't get this. I just couldn't beat the stupid thing and just lost my patience with it and well, with the game as well. Uh, well. But later on, I returned to the game and picked up the light bowgun instead. And well, with that thing and the ability to just keep my distance and stay alive, I uh, yeah managed to actually beat the main story and such. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I have played this game before. I liked it. I do. The put due to I cannot use pause in middle of a hunt. I played completely single player, but not being able to pause caused me a lot of issues in real life, like missed phone calls, almost forget to, to, to go cook. So yeah, but I do like this game. The not be able to just simply pause is one of my criticisms against it. But do I do not understand it's supposed to... Yeah. This is probably why I stopped playing if I feel like... If I were to play this, I really need to have nothing planned. Okay. But, um... And of course, the food. This is a love and a hate relationship. Makes me always hungry. <laughs> okay. But, uh, your furry friend was looking for you. Poor thing washed up not too long ago. Go ahead and have a look around Astera. The horn will sound when it's time for council. Well, off you go. Okay. I'll give you the grand tour. Let's start by looking for your palico. But uh, yeah. This is our stockpile. They carry most of the basic necessities. You should drop by later to see what they have. Alright. Uh, yeah, I, I I must say I really do like the look of Astera. Like it it really does give up this view of a place that is still being built up and everything. It's this way. <clears throat> Hello there, Foofy. <laughs> Been a bit, I think. Hello, Foofy! Okay. And yeah, we have the market area for getting stiff and getting stuff and selling stuff second level is where the smithy is where we will be making our equipment or having our equipment made okay and I don't really think I want to know how that thing got up there Let's see, Fufi, usually when you're streaming, I'm busy, and when I'm not busy, you're not streaming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at this place. 
wanna check it out? Yeah, that's also something about Monster Hunter. They are very creative with a lot of things. Oh yeah, that expert uh, I l like as well, and the creatures. No, I, I probably so have easier time playing Monster Hunter Stories one and two. I played two so far. Hmm. Probably due to I get to pause and I get to control the damn beast. <laughs> Let's see, Starnak, same here, pizza. I shall not be talking much as I'm doing work, though I will still be here. Starnak, same here. I'm going you know, to bed, but enjoy the rest of your stream. Have a good sleep, Starnak, and thank you for the raids again. Yeah. Thank you for the raid and have a pleasant slumber. Hey, over there. And there he is. Hey, you. <laughs> and well, the palicos are always fun as well. I just noticed something what he just did there. What then? Right. They're calling for a council. Come on. I will tell you afterwards. Let's see. No, Foofy, no. this game is actually pretty difficult. I, definitely, yeah. Uh, I gave up on a fight in Iceborne. Hmm. After tracking a migrating elder dragon across the sea, the fifth fleet have finally arrived in Astera. Give them a warm welcome. They're a fine group, worthy comrades who will help see the Research Commission's long efforts finally rewarded. Would you like to say a few words? Thank you, sir. We're ready to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. And that's the stream timer, or the, not the, the timer for this game. Looking forward to it. Now, down to business. The latest monster to make the Elder Crossing is known as Zora Magdaros, a huge monster with a mountain of fire upon its back. The Research Commission's job is to discover exactly why the Elder Dragons are migrating to the New World. Elder Dragons have been with us since the dawn of time. <laughs> and there we have a breakout character for this game. Altering the ecosystem, reshaping the land, leaving disaster in their wake. Once every decade or so, they flock to this continent. But for what reason? With the Fifth's help, we will find the missing link. Here, here. Now we're talking! Hunters, for the time being, I need you to focus on investigating our Jagras problem and securing Astera. Start by investigating the Jagras' habitat. Find out what makes them tick, and we'll go from there. Right. We're on it, sir. Everyone else, you know the drill. Make sure these hunters have everything they need. Now we're talking! You two, make it a priority to learn how we do things around here. You'll find good teachers, so don't be afraid to ask. You heard him. Stick with me and you'll have no problems. The fifth banner promises a change in the wind. It's your job to fulfill that promise. All right, dismissed. And yes, that is a giant acorn that our Palico has as a club. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, let's just skip through this bit. And yeah, I, I think we could stream this game, but we'd have to put bits in between where we just grind stuff off screen. Uh, I would yeah. be, I, we would be showing every new monster on their first hunt, but subsequent hunts just for resources, I'd do that off stream. Yeah, and also. Uh, this is one of those, if we were to say this, this is one of those, I think we need to start with a three hour one for, I don't think two hours would be good enough for these. Yeah. Okay, moving on to game number six, because I always have more than four ready, just in case of, well, short games like we had with Mindustry and Mini Thief earlier. And I've heard plenty good about this game. Let's give it a moment to pop up. Monster Sanctuary. Okay, I'll get my actually has seen some gameplay of uh, I know slightly a bit. Okay. Not much though. Not not, not much by story though. But do you know the sort of basics? Yeah, uh, I 
I've heard mostly that it's good. I've seen a little bit of gameplay, but not. M I don't remember much of it. But what, from what I've heard, if you want a monster raising game, like similar to Pokemon or Digimon, then from what I've heard, this is considered one of the best currently. All oh, right. Okay, nine spaces. Always nice. Uh, let's go with blue. And... I'm, I, I can't really tell, but they look female, so let's go with this. I think that's a bit difficult. First of all, I saw that the one that Ronnie was not so well animated. Okay. That's just a bit of an early access version. So far away. While wild monsters are dangerous to humans, monsters raised by them grow loyal to their owners. Let me start the timer. Almost forgot again. Most of the people in Monster Sanctuary reside in the Keepers and Strongholds. Many of them learn to raise and train monsters. And yeah, I think this one will have to be the last one for today. Though we always we still have our late stream. Okay. They call themselves Monster Keepers. Choose the familiar of your bloodline. Expect okay, for wolf. so... Begin to choose between four instead of three. I like that. I like that. Okay, and they have multiple elements to them instead of just your typical one. We have also the spectral like wolf that. with water and wind attacks, spectral eagle with fire and wind, spectral toad with earth and water, and spectral lion with fire and earth. And differing stats among all of them. Oh yeah, it is a lion. Let's go with the lion. You used with a KD. <laughs> Maybe. Among the most prestigious, mon prestigious monster uh, keepers, there are four prominent old bloodlines to the term. Each of those bloodlines is aided by a spectral familiar. And they just get the other three. Those familiars are ageless protectors of their family, passed on from one keeper to the next. Hylia is starting you know, out to become a monster keeper like her ancestors before her. Nice art as well. Oh, yeah. As with all starting monster keepers, her journey begins on the keeper's trail. Her bloodline's familiar bears the form of a spectral lion. Okay. Um. Oh. Yep. I. Yep. Oh come on! I was to see yes to be named itself as someone in chat. Who then? Well, who else? Pizza lover. <laughs> Consider it a reward or punishment, pizza lover. <laughs> there, Pizza Leo. <laughs> they they kind of look a bit like a <laughs> pizza with the, the the fire as the sauce. <laughs> Let's see. Monsters are wild things. The only reason I'm helping you is the bond I share with your bloodline. <laughs> Most monsters are less inclined than me to help you. That is why you must always raise your own monsters. They will grow alongside you just as I will, and they will fight for you. The best way to gain a monster's loyalty is to hatch it from its egg. Of course, you will have to fight to get those monster eggs. Look at the blob over there. Initiate the fight by contact. We will see if you will live up you know, to your ancestors. Okay. Uh, oh dear. Ah. Oh, Let's I see. see. Chat here. What? Why am I being discussed? <laughs> we just named a monster after you. <coughs> okay, movement with the keyboard is with the arrow keys, not W, A, S, D, or such. Okay. What the heck just happened? Hmm? I think something temporary just went a bit old with the mic. I think it was a cough. But it might be dope as. A cough? Okay. So shit for a moment there. I think that I think you you did something that confused the mic. Okay, we have a stamina bar of sorts, it seems. The attacks that have different <clears throat> that have used different amounts of it. And 
I like what I see. It... Check out the, the enemy's health bar as I move through these. It shows oh, how much yeah. damage each attack will do. I like that. Do they never count out the crits? I think audience do this before and I feel like it. But I know, alright, that's what I do if I do it well. But if I crit, it will be better or something like that. Okay, it didn't fill up completely, it seems. Uh, let's do one with this. Okay, we regain a certain amount each turn. I wonder what it is dependent on. And there we go. That's uh, three stars. 40% chance for rare loot. Okay, and yep, we get a blob back. It's in copper. Okay. Bit of experience for the lion. Okay. There we go, you received the blob bag. A bit annoying now sound, need... but... <clears throat> uh, now you need to hatch it, open the inventory menu and try to hatch it. Uh, just right from there. No uh, incubators or such. Uh, inventory... Uh, uh, okay, Hilia, listen here. Don't hold the egg over pizza, Leo. <laughs> we have to hatch it, not cook it. Okay, we've hatched the blob. Our first monster. Uh, let's keep it as yes, that. Yes, blob, not the <laughs> blob. Actually, let's... There. Uh, <laughs> I was so off tempted to name it Marco, but... Mm, maybe something else we could name after Marco. That is your first monster you hatched by yourself. Right now it is weak, so you need to train it. There oh, is much more for you to learn, too. You and that blob are quite alike. Let's continue on the Keeper's Trial. It will lead us to old Buron, an old friend of mine. He's a patient, a patient teacher to all young Keepers who seek guidance. I advise you to listen to him very carefully. Okay. You just run into them to start combat. And there we go. Okay, let's see. We have Arcane Bolt and Heat. Okay, always good to have something with a heal. So, let's hit that one. And... Okay, attack. Wait. Okay. Wait, oh, we can attack ourselves as well? Okay. Uh, let's actually... These... <clears throat> They're all single targets. And we do more damage when we combo. Okay. <coughs> okay. Now I can bolt again. And okay. Now it's still the line that's pointed out here. We're... Okay. Not really sure about how that is. We're... I would say this. For what I heard and I've seen so far, there's probably one of few games I can easily say yes for streaming. Or almost easily. The only thing I think we should investigate is how long the game is. Yeah, and we'll probably have to do off screen grinding. Yeah. Dude, that's a strong deal. Otherwise, it's looking good. But all other yeah. games, I have been very unsure of about streaming, except this one. <laughs> okay, got some decent stuff, no levels. Hmm. Based on the effectiveness of your combat strategy, I <laughs> get a rating of one to five stars. Okay, for, actually for a second I thought he meant he gave us a one out of five. Earning a higher rating increases your chance of getting better drops, like rare monster eggs. Okay. Uh... Ah. Okay. Don't. It's there. And what is it, this? It looks so different from last time. I think, I think I've seen... We were seeing an early access version, but the an animation was a bit more stiffer. Could be. Young Keeper, this is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this, the Keeper's Trail's beginning for all of man, beast, and sanctuary has beginning. 
is... Oh, you're new. Some sort of... It, you're you're a, rock, a rocky and a magma pillar. Okay. We're going to... We're going to run into our first case of uh, resistance, aren't we? Yeah, weak to... Uh, weak to water, resistant to fire. Okay. Oh, I see now. For some reason, it started out on this instead of here. Okay, let's ignite you. You're weak against that, so you should take more damage. Plus, you get the burn for extra damage over time. Okay, defensive moves. A bit late. How, how does it do a punch combo when it doesn't have any hands? Unless... Those are its hands and not its feet? <laughs> Maybe. It's, it's basically a Geodude that can't fly. Let's bring that down on you. Would technically be smarter to focus more on one target at once, but oh well, it's Wait. a tutorial. You do can't fly. <laughs> they're more yeah, they, they hover. <laughs> oh, hover, yeah. I'm pretty sure you can't teach it to fly. <laughs> okay. From, from what I hear, most of the oh, four out of six, or four, four out of four out of five. Let's see. Oh, magma pillar egg. Let's take that. Uh, a lot of the praise for this game comes from the depths of its uh, mechanics. Oh, there's quite some depth I can see. As your monsters can experience in combat, they will increase in level. This allows them to gain new skills. You should take a look at the skill tree menu. Okay, first off though, let's hatch this one. Okay, uh, let's leave the name as is. And skills. You, uh, wait, it started out at level two? It's no, no, it could, you, got, you just leveled him up. No, I meant uh, this one. It starts at level two, for some oh. reason. Well, it is a it's... special starter one, so I guess it's a bit special strength. It says it's going from family member from family member. <laughs> Let's see. Or it means that if we get an egg of a stronger monster, it will start off stronger as well. Let's see. Maybe? We can add... St okay, we can upgrade it to level 2. 4 times 50 damage. Less damage per attack, but more. For 35% more damage. Crit chance plus. Upgrade to level 2. And unlock new ones. Okay. And they're resistant to wind and earth. Oh, no. Wind weakness and earth resistance. Okay, let's let's upgrade that first. Note that you can unlearn recently learned skills freely as long as you didn't complete a monster encounter or exit the game. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at you as well. Arcane bolt, shield. Let's grab that. Barrier. What is the barrier buff? Okay. Okay, continuing on anyways. Cestus. Okay. Oh, that's a weapon. Okay. Yeah, I really it's like, oh, it's a old gladiator with a weapon. Basically, a glove with a lot of sharp purple things on it. Okay. Plus five attack, plus fly, fly five magic, plus 15 defense, and 6% extra damage reduction. Let's give... The, okay. Yeah, you could definitely add a lot more depth to something by giving them accessories Wait. and weapons. Wait, you're giving your li pizza Leo a... Wait, you, 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 these little bugs are using weapons? Apparently, yeah. Hey friend, you are just starting as a monster keeper, right? Did you find some equipment for your monster already? You can make your weapon monsters stronger by equipping them. Let me guess, this is going... Kunai. Okay, mana regeneration plus 12. 
que no, a Ninja Weapon. Let's see, can we get there? That is that going to be just out of reach? Looks like it's not just out of reach. Hey, fellow keeper, did you know that every single one of your monsters possesses a special ability? Some can be used to get rid of certain obstacles. Else you might encounter some indestructible walls like the one behind me. Go on and try and hit it with some of your monster's abilities. Okay. Wait. The man one that can have with the other? Chest, vital ring, a lot of health plus. Okay, that... If they have different abilities, then that definitely could help in getting around. Uh, let's see... Can I... Do that? No? Hmm. Okay, how do I change out the active one then? Oh, you, wait, you can talk? Okay. Oh, egg level. When you hatch an egg, the hatched monster will always be only a few levels behind the high. Okay. Okay, okay that's, that's useful. That way you don't have to train something up just from level one. If one of your bench monsters is far behind in level, it might be safer to get a new egg of that monster species. Okay. That... That is good for... Maybe people do get annoyed how to level... A creature for level 1 since... It takes too much time. Yeah. I don't think we can get that chest at the moment. Oops, some new enemies. Okay, a Vero. It's, we, we even swapped position because I got to, uh, close. Let's see. Oh, extra damage on the bird, of course. Because birds don't like don't like getting stoned. Uh, let's see. Let's put let's put the barrier on. Yeah. That's probably going to be increasing over there. Okay, three buffs, damage plus fifteen. Okay. Finish off the birds. All right. Yeah, that is definitely giving a good protection bonus. Let's see. Oh, received twenty percent less damage. Yep, yeah, yeah, that is really good. Okay. Nice. Ignite them. Then put up the shields. Shield is also for everyone, okay. And yeah, it looks like we might it might be because of the tutorial, but we're also getting healed between each fight, it seems. It can always be a nuisance in monster uh, in monster games. Where well you get to the final area end of something and you, you just get your ass kicked because you didn't get you don't have enough health. And are out of healing oh. items. Yeah, that can be annoying. Okay, finish you off. Okay. I think I'll definitely be playing this game some more on my own. Ooh. Barrier's almost gone on some of them. Yep. I can see us streaming this. So, again, good idea to investigate how long the game is. Yeah. And probably with some off-screen stuff as well. Yeah. yeah. I do think it might be good for to play it a bit on your own. At least slightly so to see how much story there is. But I think there is a lot of story in this game. Okay. If I remember right. Man prospers through generations, founded cities and nations, connected by dirt and wheel, and later by steam and steel. Can nice, we... Yes, we can. Bracelets. 10 defense and 10... Ma okay, 12 mana regeneration. Nope. Almost up there. Oh, oh no. Yeah, some, some uh, sort of cyclopean scorpion thing. Um. Gauntlets. Right, keeper stronghold, left keeper's trial. Let's go over here, fill in the map a bit. Go, oh, bunch of birds. Uh. Okay. Here we go. It looks like that. Yeah, it looks like we can have <clears throat> six monsters with us at a time, but only three active in battle. 
So we can swap it out some. Okay, that's going to be an attack bonus. Feathers, okay. <laughs> Just pelt the slime with feathers. Okay. Big hit. Yeah, big hit on the second bird. And finish off that one. Okay. Oh, yeah, did. We definitely have to look at how long this game might take, because this gameplay is, of course, a lot slower than what we typically do and such. Uh, yeah, but I, I don't mind it. it it's almost where we are probably easier time uh, co co commentating and all that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how much do we still have on the timer? About five minutes. Oh, the slime has taken a lot of damage there. Okay, out of normal uh, attack, magic attacks. This game is Monster Sanctuary, correct? Uh, yeah, this, this game is called Monster Sanctuary Pizza. I'd heard a, a lot of good about this game. Same. Ooh, very big. Levels, experience. Okay, let's have a look. Inventory, Vero Egg. Hmm. There we go. Let's just leave them as that. Okay. Yeah, and, and they started at level 2 as well. Maybe we should do, maybe do the same Helia character, but we definitely re rename the monsters when we do a new fresh run. Yeah. Wait, A? Okay, so that's how we swap between them. By pressing A and then they do something. Do they have something diff- Oh, hello. Actually, yeah, flying levitates the player, breaks hidden walls, cuts oh. through vines, activates fire orbs, and kindles torches and burns vines. Activates. Okay, yeah, that that is also a good reason to keep a lot of these around. Then, I yeah, think and, uh, we can get that chest. Read the chat there, Helian. Uh, let's see. The length of Monster Sanctuary varies depending on how much of the game you want to complete. If you focus on the main objectives, it takes about thirty hours. I'm trying to platform and read at the same time. <laughs> um, if you want to see all aspects of the game, you are likely to spend around 48 hours to obtain a 100% completion. We typically don't go for 100%, but yeah, 30 hours sounds about right for a monster training game. Or I forget the specific yeah. descriptions uh -huh. of these and Pokemon and uh, Digimon. Hi. Hmm. Okay. So about 30 hours, that would be about 15 episodes, unless you are lucky to have it on main quest and finally again get into the whole three-hour streams. Yeah. Then that would be reduced a lot. But 15 episodes is not too bad. Let's see, 20% crit chance. Okay, yeah. Uh, Bob has a skill point. And since they're the healer, let's give them some defensive stuff. Okay, skills. Let's see. Slime shots applies poison. Acid rain applies armor break. Armor... Reducing something's armor is always a good idea. But yeah, I, I have to say I really like the... I, I really like the idea that they... When you hatch an egg, it'll be somewhat up to level. That way you won't have to waste a lot of time training something new. And if you want to try different uh, builds on a beast, you don't have to train one up from the start. You can just get another egg and try out the other build. Yeah, it, it kind of reduced the grinding in some ways. Yeah, good of uh, good amount of quality of life. Dia down. Okay. Yeah, th this is definitely more and more going towards yes to stream. Yeah, it's likely a longer stream, probably some off-screen grinding, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Man knew of those who wait in the woods in the ca and caves beyond, yet for the treasures within he longed. For the greed of kings was great. Yeah, I think we will have a problem if it was like 60 hours. Definitely, yeah. Uh, let's see, any weaknesses to... Water, fire, and water. Okay. 
Now then, we start off with ign by igniting that one. Uh, put up a barrier for ourselves. And then we acid rain one of them. Oh yeah, that deals a lot, quite a lot. Okay, barrier. The game is also a bit of a very a similar look to uh, Stardew Valley, I must say. Kinda just more well animated, if you get what I mean. Yeah, there is a lot more an to animate and such. Uh, let's put up the shields. Okay, finish you off. Yep. And that's a timer. So let's finish this fight and then we'll call it. Do a summary and then we go look for someone to raid ourselves. I said we could raid Pizza Lover. Uh, Who wait, knows yeah, how many pizza that. they have in storage. Okay. Uh, re up the shield. Since you don't really have many offensive attacks, except for, well, burning, which these things are resistant to. I do want... There's probably ways to get uh, creatures to get new moves of other elements as well than the two basic ones they have. Let's see. Uh, pizza, you can't raid me. I haven't started the stream again. Okay. Oop, monster... <laughs> okay. Also, a, a nice, uh, nice, nice bit of quality of life that you can inspect them to see what stats and stuff they have, and even their mana, so you can try, so you know if they're, they can come out with strong attacks or not. And it even shows it when you just look at them. Oh, oh that's why. Are... Okay, uh, it as counts as a water attack. That drains mana, perhaps. Maybe. Okay, let's claw it and end it. Okay. We got a potato, <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'll def I'll definitely play this some on my own. Just e even if just to scout ahead and such. Okay. Uh, oh, let's check these out. Mo morning star, really? And an orb. Okay, so a pure physical and a pure magical a weapon. All right. Oh, from pizza lava, if three hundred thousand. <laughs> Though if I was to stream again, I will appreciate you guys raiding me. Lol. <laughs> okay. Well. That's been the showcase for today. So let's summarize. Uh, Mech Warrior Five Mercenaries. No, for it gave quite a warning sign what he did to the mic. Yeah, it's, I still can't and figure out what the hell is going on with that. At least it's less errors this time, or less harsh errors. Yeah, yeah it seems to get in. It still happens, but not as. It seems to have changed. Yeah, not as harshly. Yeah. It hmm. is a bit more tolerable. Like, it's, you don't need to edit out the sound, really, basically. They, they did say they had heard statics on their end. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, but yeah, Mac Warrior 5. It is a good game, but it is rather slow. So if we were to stream that, it would just be a lot of downtime in between. Uh, yeah. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. I'd say a yes to that. Wait, I said maybe? Like, ain't it extremely long? Yeah, not extremely long. There's a lot of stuff to do, and you can put a lot of time into just messing with the orcs. Uh, but let okay. me do a quick look. Uh, how long to beat? I should probably keep this site ready at any point. Uh, Shadow of Mordor. Okay, 15 and a half hours for its main story. We'll probably do a bit more than just that. Alright, mm. then uh, then I will say yes. Okay. 
uh, Mindustry and Mini Thief both know they're more little time wasters, probably ported over from phones or such. Oh dear. Uh, Monster Hunter World, I'm, I'm definitely willing to do uh, with off screen grinds or rather off screen hunts for uh, collectibles and such. Not, not collectibles for materials and such. Yeah, no. It's a wrong game, but my, as I said before, my biggest concern is since you can't pause or save whatever you want, it, hmm. if it were to stay, we would probably try to do a sort of three hour episode for them. Since yeah. two hours might be, might be very hard to do. Yeah, well, we could also just uh, put those, we could also end the streams earlier to uh, avoid uh, going over time. But yeah, we'll definitely try to look at longer streams with those, with, yeah, with that. <clears throat> yeah, so you will be quite, heavily required to start early with them. So we don't end up, yeah, no, 12 at midnight accidentally. Yeah. And let's see, Monster Sanctuary, I'm definitely leaning to a yes. Like, we haven't Same seen here. much story, but the gameplay looks pretty interesting. From I understand that it should be story. It, it looks like a game that should have story. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll play it for some more on my own time, just to scout ahead some, uh, get some <laughs> get some advantages for when we do stream it, like uh, training up a specific type of monster to have an advantage against a certain boss or something like that. But I won't, I might not, I'll probably not finish it completely, at least. Yeah, a bit of scouting is good. Okay, in the meantime, let's go look for someone to raid. Let's see, <laughs> that would be fitting. Uh, I'm Nice is streaming Wild Hearts, which is sort of like Monster Hunter. Sour Walrus is streaming Baldur's Gate. Redacted Cat is streaming an old one, Rise of the Triad L Ludicrous Edition. Uh, let me take a peek at that. Oh, yeah. Is that the reboot or something? Uh, no, this is... Uh, yeah, that's the old school. Yeah, fun fact. Razor Cry had, had a lot of aspects that was supposed to be in the original Doom. It was supposed to have several Doom Slayers, quote-unquote. Okay. But they could recycle it into Rise of the Triad. Uh, next up, we have WBPL76, who is streaming Mass Effect Andromeda. Big Restreams is also streaming Baldur's Gate 3, so is Puffle. And Kiri Natsuyoko is streaming Team Fortress 2. Right. And last but not least, we have Horatius the Dwarf, who is streaming Elden Ring. Okay. I keep reading that as a Swedish word. Okay. Any of those, or should we look at someone else? Or for someone else? Hmm... Yes, in the recommendeds I'm seeing Pikmin 4, Monster Prom 2, Let's School, whatever that might be, uh, Sea of Thieves, let's see. Now let me take a peek here. Uh, I know Pikmin and I had zero interest in uh, them. Okay, uh, what's this Let's School then? Oh... Oh, it's one of these, uh, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's one of those, uh, tycoon-ish games, which you actually uh, have to make a school. <laughs> I have played something one that where you train heroes in a fantasy world, they found a more enjoyable than this. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I should, I don't think I have it, but I should take a look at Two Point Hospital and such. Uh, basically, the, uh, the spiritual sequel to Theme Hospital. Or was it called that? I think I tried to oh, showcase no, that you one. Don't. At least you should not stream that abomination. <laughs> I okay. see it and I don't like it. All right. Uh, but yeah. Who looks interesting to you? Uh, good question. Good. Where question. shall I pick? Dog taste remastered. I see there. Oh, by uh, Hobby Tan. Uh, I forgot. Did did we did we do a showcase or... of this game? Yes. Uh, but did we also make a series of it? Um. 
I'm actually drawing a complete blank. I don't think so. Uh, uh, maybe? Due to it being short? Uh, oh, yeah, it, I think we did due to it being short. Probably is. I don't know if it was before or if we started to. It was a, or before we started to post it to YouTube or not. Hmm. Good. Yeah, good question. Uh, hmm. I'll have to check back to the records for that, but I don't think we streamed it. Uh, I think we streamed it. I know you I watched you play it. I, I know we did a showcase of it, so maybe it was on a Saturday stream before I started to separate those out into their own little thing. Yeah, but I, I know you played it to the finish. Okay, that probably is probably a, a sideshow stream that was. Uh... But yeah, um, so we rate Hobby Tan then, or I'm nice with Wild Hearts? Let's go with I'm nice. Okay. Uh, yes, I know I am nice. <laughs> okay. Praise me. Copy their name and head to our place. Slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza Lover. Thank you, uh, Starnak, for watching and for the raids. Uh, Foofy, thank you as well. And Glacier thank Boy you, was Glacier. here as well. And Mark. Yeah, Mark, who is sick. Hope you're doing well and better. And let's see. Squid Dequi? Squid Dequi? Thank you for watching as well, and everyone else who came with the raid as well, of course, and may be lurking and such. And thank you as always, Dirk here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, with that, let's start up that raid. And yeah, we will have, if nothing gets in the way, we will have a second stream today with LA Noir, with Ram later in the day, in about two and a half hours. So yeah, either way... Yeah. Uh, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone. Uh, watch out for zombie seagulls and uh, uh, servitors with guns. Mm.